here is the step one. Today, finally, I'm going to put the shed together. So we are just about to put the base. Uh, we uh, marked, measured and marked all the points. Now, these are the things that you will need. Now, let me get these things. Depending on where you are, uh, where you're going to put your shed, it's better to uh, anchor. So you need to get one of these drill bits. Um, this is, I believe I got this from Lowe's. So this is the three quarters of an inch. Uh, this is a rotary drill for cement and brick and it's six inches. Then you need one of these skirts. I got this from Home Depot. Uh, then you need a bolt like this. Uh, I also got this from uh, Home Depot. I got all of these from Home Depot. Uh, this was about ten dollars uh, or so. And then you need a hammer drill because you are going to drill the concrete. So I'll show it to you. I'm going to put four uh, on four corners of the, uh, yeah, those are anchor bolts from the four corners uh, of the base. Uh, this could be overkill on depending where you're putting it. In my case, I want to put it, uh, put it um, in case because we did have some strong winds uh, a few years ago. So let me go ahead and start that now. We put the small screws in. Uh, there are 14 of them uh, with this Phillips head now ready to put the anchor bolt now I'm ready to go ahead and uh, put the anchor bolt in first you make a little pilot hole with a regular drill um, from a regular bit uh, so that way you can guide it uh, so, so this may take a little bit of a, a little bit of a process because it's a little challenging to put this uh, get this pilot, this um, anchor bolt hold ready. So let me just go ahead and finish that one and show you the next process. So I had to widen the pilot hole. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the drill the hole. So here is the anchor bolt uh, hole so here is that skirt so I had to make it a little bit bigger so I can put this one in properly hopefully this one will go in without an issue uh, let me slowly tap this one in I believe that's in uh, I need a washer for this one to get that thing in without much challenge and that goes in like that now you're going to uh, this is a 19 millimeter issue that I have with this it's a little bit uh, above but um, I'm not going to worry about that uh, this is just the way it is going to be I want to make sure that this is the uh, the shed is secured I'm not worried about the aesthetics uh, or this is little protruding I got all four anchor bolts in now we are putting a uh, on to this side that's the it's a panel a uh, they're all marked so let me just go ahead and do that one I put 
panel A, now it's panel B and we had to um, anchor it properly. Okay, so I got A and B and also put um, four of these pieces and it's a little windy. Uh, hopefully I will be able to hold this one and put the rest of the stuff in. A uh, little challenging, but it's uh, pretty much plug and play. I was able to put all the basic structure uh, without any issue uh, if you have two people a lot easier uh, only part that uh, I needed help is that triangular part uh, at this point I need somebody to help me uh, the rest of them uh, just uh, the panels uh, they are named A B C D like that and you just uh, continue with it um, so that's completely done and now this is where you need a second person from that triangular part, the very top triangular part. Uh, you need two people because you need two ladders. Somebody had to hold it from that side uh, and then put the screws. Uh, so, so far, no issues. Uh, it went smoothly. Now the second part uh, or the putting the roof is a little bit challenging. That's where you definitely need another person. I attached the two uh, DR well whatever those metal per pieces to the door now all i had to do is to attach the glasses to the door uh, windows so the, then that door matter will be taken care of uh, we put all the windows in and attach the doors uh, so far so good let me just take this one in and show you from inside So that's what it's looked like so far. Uh, once I put the, the top part, it will level off. Uh, right there, it's uh, not level, but uh, once you put the top, uh, top part. Definitely help having another person here. So I was able to put all of the, the roof structure in. Uh, tedious, not that difficult, but tedious. You definitely need a helper to do to set the roof part uh, so far so good it's coming along I was able to put the put both uh, pieces of the roof uh, challenging but doable uh, now is the hardest part to put the middle part so you had to go from the back and the front and unfortunately the where I'm at this is the back of my uh, shed and it is closest to the fence so now I had to go to the other side of the uh, I had to go to my neighbor's yard and uh, fix the top part so that's the most challenging part but we'll get it done with the greatest difficulty I was able to put the final parts of the roof there we go uh, definitely need the second person Otherwise, it's extremely challenging. I was fortunate enough to have my brother-in-law here. I put all the the nuts and the bolts there and tight up or tighten up all of these as well. Then now it's the bottom ones. You had to put twelve of them right here. Uh, it's challenging. So what I did. I created a little pilot hole if you can see there we go now it's a lot easier so um, to uh, otherwise it is challenging so get a little um, drill bit uh, and make a little pilot pilot hole this is the last one that I had to screw um, using I've been using this uh, Ryobi drill at very low uh, torque so that way I won't rip off the the plastic and uh, you know I finally found a magnetic uh, this is a magnetic head because I lost lots of this AA uh, screws a few of them I was so glad that still had two to spare well, finally it's done. A uh, few issues. Uh, this one, this door is 
little bit sticking. So let me show it to you. Have a little bit of a challenging issue with this dough. So, so it has a little bit of a play. Then this the second dough also it need a little bit of playing then uh, it close so those are the issues that I have but the ground is not it is level but it may have a little bit of a play that could be the reason uh, took me six hours uh, with the help of another person to finish this uh, Challenging tired So if you uh, if you were to do this thing make sure that you have help take your time uh, Don't be in a rush, but uh, now everything is done uh, I am very pleased with the product and what it looks like and uh, hopefully this I will be able to use this for a long period of time store all my junk here thank you for watching subscribe when you get a chance